Hi friends! We're talking about the beach this week and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about shells. When you go to the beach, have you ever tried to look for different kinds of shells that you find? I know I have and I have some shells I want to share with you. This shell is called a conch shell. This shell used to have an animal living inside of it called a conch. There's, it's not in there now. The animal left the shell, but in the south, especially like in Florida and other very warm places where there's warm water, conch shells might be found on the beach if you went to go and hunt for them. But they're very beautiful and people really like them, so it's really hard to find these kind. Let's look at another shell. This shell is a shell from an oyster. An oyster is another kind of animal that lives in the water. An oyster usually has two shells attached together here at the bottom. And they can open up a little bit and um, filter some of the water and food that the, that the oyster likes to eat. And even sometimes if a grain of sand gets inside of an oyster shell, do you know what it turns into? A pearl, a very precious little tiny white pebble called a pearl. You can ask your moms about it, they might have one. Let's do one more kind of shell. This is a small scallop shell. It, an animal used to live inside this shell too. And scallops also come two together. Sometimes when the animal leaves the shell on the beach, you only find one side of it. Let's read a story about different kinds of shells. This is called, What Comes in a Shell? What comes in a shell? A crab comes in a shell. A lobster does too. Some people enjoy eating a crab or a lobster with their dinner. Have you ever had them? A shrimp comes in a shell. A barnacle does too. Shrimps are small little animals that like to crawl along the bottom of the ocean. You might have tried to have a shrimp as well. And barnacles don't look like animals, but they are. Barnacles like to attach their bodies to rocks in the bottom of boats in the ocean. A scallop comes in a shell and a snail does too. Do you recognize this kind of shape of shell that I showed you before? And in here is a snail. It's very different than the snails we see outside. It's much bigger, but it also is slimy and likes to stick to the bottom of rocks and things. A mussel comes in a shell and a clam does too. These are shells that you can find a lot in our beaches here in Connecticut, where we live. Oh look, it's the shell I showed you. A conch comes in a shell, and an oyster comes in a shell. That's the other one we talked about. Sometimes with a pearl. Remember I told you about what happens when an oyster swallows a bit of sand? There's that beautiful pearl that it can make. So next time you're at the beach with your family, see what kind of shells you can find.